Chapter 8 Winds, Storms and Cyclones Air is around us. We live on earth and there is a lot of air around us. Air is a mixture of colorless, odorless and tasteless gases. The layer of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. Air exerts force on the earth due to its weight. The pressure exerted by the air present in the atmosphere is called atmospheric pressure. In this chapter, we will study two important properties of air. Air exerts pressure. Air expands on heating and becomes lighter. Before we begin, we remember that the moving air is called the wind. Air exerts pressure. It is easier to ride a bicycle in the direction of blowing wind because the blowing wind exerts a pressure on us in the same direction in which our bicycle is moving and makes our bicycle move faster. On the other hand, we find it difficult to ride a bicycle against the direction of wind because in this case, the blowing wind exerts a pressure on us in the opposite direction in which our bicycle is moving. It makes difficult for us to drive while moving against the wind. Similarly, while rowing a sailing boat, we find that it is easier to row the sailboat in the direction of wind. It is very difficult to row a sailboat against the direction of wind. When we are flying a kite, then the wind coming from our backside helps the kite to fly higher and higher. It is the blowing wind which exerts the pressure on the kite to fly higher. When air is filled in a bicycle tube with the help of an air pump, it inflates. Here, it is the pressure exerted by air filled in a bicycle tube which keeps the tube tight and makes the bicycle tube feel hard. However, if we fill too much air, the bicycle tube bursts because it cannot withstand huge pressure of air. Activity 1. To prove that air exerts pressure. Things needed. A tin can with cap, tripod stand, burner, cold water, wire gauge. Method. We pour a mug full of water in a tin can. Heat the water in the can by using a burner. Boil the water. When the steam comes out freely, stop heating and immediately screw the cap on it. Remove the can from the tripod stand and place it in the sink with the help of a thick towel. We pour cold water from a tap on the hot tin can. What do we observe? The tin can gets crushed as if a large force acting on it from outside has crushed it. When the water is boiling, steam is formed in the tin can. This steam expels all the air from inside the can. When the can is capped and cold water is poured over it, the steam inside it condenses and forms water. Since there is no air inside, vacuum inside, there is no air pressure. The large air pressure or atmospheric pressure outside the tin can crushes the tin can inside. Activity 2 To show air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. Things needed A boiling tube An uninflated balloon Two beakers Hot water Sticking tape Ice cold water Method We take an empty boiling tube it contains air, though we cannot see this air. Stretch the mouth of an uninflated balloon and fit it tightly over the neck of the boiling tube with the help of a sticking tape. We take some hot water in a beaker. Place the boiling tube having a rubber balloon fixed to its neck in the hot water for some time. We will see that the balloon gets inflated. Reason 
when the boiling tube is placed in hot water, the air present in boiling tube gets heated, expands and its volume increases. When the boiling tube is placed in ice cold water, the air present in the boiling tube gets cooled, contracts and its volume decreases. Conclusion: Air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. Activity 3 to show hot air is lighter than cold air. Things needed. Two empty paper bags of same size. Wooden stick, thread. Method. We take two empty paper bags or empty paper cups of exactly same size. Hang the two paper bags in the inverted position with their faces pointing downwards on the two ends of a light wooden stick with the help of short threads. Tie a piece of thread in the middle of the stick. The other end of this thread is tied to a hook fixed in a rigid surface. Initially, the wooden stick is perfectly horizontal, showing that the two paper bags contain an equal mass of the same air, cold air. We put a burning candle below the open mouth of the left side paper bag. We see that after some time, the left side of the wooden stick goes up, showing that it has become lighter than the right side. Reason: When a burning candle is placed below the left side paper bag, the air above the candle flame gets heated. The hot air, being lighter, rises up and fills the left side paper bag after displacing the heavier cold air from it. Therefore, the left end of wooden stick becomes lighter and moves up. Conclusion: Warm air is lighter than cold air.